So now in this video, we're going to look at sourcing and sinking current. So this is a demonstration video and we are using the 4050, 4050, whatever it's called. It's a 4000 series CMOS uh, integrated circuit. So I grabbed it from this kit. And this one's a pretty straightforward one. It's a buffer. Right now, the you can see the arrow is pointed more towards the negative side of the circuit. We have this trim pot wired as a voltage divider. You can see that jumper comes from positive, that one to negative, goes across the resistive element. We can output a voltage. The input there does not take any current, and so it just looks at the voltage. Now it's more negative than about halfway of the power supply. It's a voltage divider, five volts at the rail. We turn it more positive, the red LED lights up. So what's going on here? Right now, the output is the source of current. So there's uh, six buffers in here. And so we got to power that top pin, but the second pin down is the output. And then third pin down where the green jumper is, is the input where it looks at the voltage there. And so right now, it's uh, more positive than half of the uh, power supply. Cause you can see we have a resistor and an LED from the negative side and then an LED and a resistor towards the positive side. So about the same load on each side of the uh, power supply, we'll get about half the power supply voltage there. So when we get a high enough signal there, it will head towards the negative rail. When we have a low signal there, it will head towards the positive rail. So we're gonna think of conventional current. So let's turn the uh, blue LED on. Actually, I gotta go the other way. So blue LED is on. So we can see Blue LED is on, you can tell current is going through it. So we got positive, and that's going to do the LED to that jumper there, to the output. So the output is actually sinking current. We think of current going positive to negative, and so it's going there into, or sinking into the output. Now when the red LED is on, you can tell here that uh, we have current going through there, so there's got to be current going through the resistor because they're in series, and that is more negative. So that means that is more positive. It has to be enough for current to flow through there. Now, we can actually measure the current with a multimeter, and so that's a good skill to learn no matter what. Let's remove this jumper. This is where we're going to take our current measurement because that's where the two LEDs share their uh, the same current path. So otherwise, there's uh, each one of them has their own resistor, but the current either has to flow one way or the other where that jumper was. Now I have some alligator clips that I crimped onto jumper wires right there. So I can plug that. So we want the red probe to look at whether the output is more positive or negative than uh, the load there, the middle point. And then so the uh, black probe, it's a blue jumper here, we will put to where the uh, two LEDs come together. And we can just clip the probes for the multimeter directly to there. And the power supply is off right now. That's really important because we're getting things set up. We might short circuit something or whatnot. There we go. And before we turn the power supply on, I'm going to turn the meter on. So we got milliamps of current. So we got five volts at the uh, power supply. So red LED is on. You can see a positive current. So that's in relationship, the red probe in relationship to the blue probe. So we know that side of the circuit's more positive. That side's more negative, which is pretty obvious, you can see there. And we got a negative current. So now let's turn the uh, trim pot down so that the blue LED turns on. And now you can see a negative current. So that means this side's more negative, that side's more positive. And as I said before, normally we think of current as positive going towards negative. Now we know about electrons, we know electrons go negative to positive, but early electronic scientists like Benjamin Franklin and others, they assumed that there was a positive current, a positive kind of a fluid that flowed from more positive to more negative. Later on, they got better at testing. They learned about elect uh, electrons. 
But in any case, we design circuits as if there is a positive towards negative, but also we design them as if there's a negative towards positive too. So that is when you have a negative uh, current there. So in any case, because positive moving one way is basically the same as negative moving the other way. But we talk about current, we're talking positive to negative. So right now, the output, the uh, red probe, is more negative than uh, the load there. So we consider current flowing from positive and then sinking into the output. And when it is more positive, so we got the red there measuring, that's blocking the LED though. Now it is sourcing the current as far as the way we look at it. So more positive flowing towards more negative there. So hopefully that made sense. If uh, you found sourcing and sinking confusing, all it is is saying whether the output is the more positive or the more negative part of the, uh, the load for the most part, whether it's outputting or whether as an output it is actually taking in current. So hope that all made sense. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.